folks, and welcome to episode two of Random Things with Hags. I'm your host, Hags, and today we are going to be taking on the Sir Stroming Challenge. For those of you that are aware of this little uh, fish product, it is a Baltic herring that's been fermented for months, and what makes this so challenging is the smell. So today, we're going to see just how gnarly this smell is. I'm going to try, unlike most Americans, to actually prepare it correctly. So first thing they tell us to do, so I don't get sprayed by anything, put it in the plastic bag, get the can open in there. All right. Now, you ready? Right now I'm going to tell you, I only pierced this a little bit and it already smells like something that violated the Geneva Convention. Tell you what, let's pause and let's get a real can opener. Now, for those of you that are looking at the Sostroming that I'm using, I ordered Manistrom's Sostroming. Evidently, this is considered the Rolls Royce of Sostroming because it's, it's uh, fermented for a few months longer, so it's going to give it a stronger aroma and a stronger <clears throat> taste. I could smell it over here. Yeah, as you hear the cameraman, you can smell it off in the distance. It smells like a sewer. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of acids that are produced during the fermentation process that give it its smell. So it's a combination of things like rotten egg, vinegar, you get the idea. Fish, evidently. Ooh. Now, the sh now it's getting pungent like an onion. Yeah, because we're getting close to opening the whole entire can. Also, safety first, be careful when you're opening a can. You don't want to get cut by the serrated edges. There we go. Woo! Show the camera so I can zoom in on it. Now, this don't look too gnarly. Mm -hmm. You can see it up close. Oh, yes. Smells like the ass of a demon. <laughs> Darn saw a demon's ass that check. Actually, the demon's ass probably smells better. 
<clears throat> now, I'm actually going to attempt to prepare this the correct way. Usually what you do is you cut off the tail, take out the rogue, get the guts out, take the skin off, get the pieces off the bone, take the roe and the meat, and then you mix it in with some potatoes, onions, sour cream, on some flatbread. So let's get one out. Smells like skunk in a way. It's not as bad as I expected it to be. Yeah, though. I mean, it's a foul scent, but then again, what do you expect? It's fermented fish. Now, some of you are probably going to ask me, what does it taste like? I don't know as of yet, because this is actually my first time trying the stuff. You, are you brave enough to taste a piece of the flesh by itself? Let me separate it first. sure the neighbor wasn't too uh, finding that scent too appealing. <laughs> getting the meat off the bone. I've seen some of the videos of people uh, attempting to eat sastrumi and I kind of gag just watching them trying to eat it unprepared. There's a way you gotta prepare it folks. I mean if you've actually seen the way it's prepared it actually looks pretty good. It just when you gotta look at it while it's not prepared it doesn't look too appealing. What kind of fish is it? It's a Baltic herring. Okay. It's fermented for typically six months, but I bought Manastrums and the website says that they ferment theirs longer than they normally ferment. Do they cook it first before they ferment it or is it just raw? Uh, I think it's just raw. I think. I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. I'm still doing research on it. All I know is it's a dish that's served in northern Sweden. At least traditionally it's in northern Sweden. They used to have a premiere that it was canned and fermented and eaten at certain points of the year. They don't really do that anymore, but they still have the premiere, whatever time that is. I'll follow up with that, but let's keep on with this. I'm gonna pause it. There you wait. All right. We're gonna start preparing the dish. I got most of the meat off. I don't believe that this one either had roe, which is fish eggs, or it fell out somewhere in here. So I'm gonna make do with what I have in terms of the meat. Now, like I said, they traditionally serve it on flatbread with potatoes, onions, and sour cream. There's other ways that you can have it. They leave it up to the imagination, as they say. But I chose to do it this way. Now, they use this bread called Turnbrod, I think it's pronounced T-U-R-N-B-R-O-D, with the two little dots over the uh, O. 
But uh, flatbread isn't good enough these. Now, you're probably wondering if the smell is bothering me at all. We're doing this outside and it's kind of cold out so I don't have to worry about flies. Yeah, the smell is strong, but my personal opinion, it's, it's not that overwhelming. It's gnarly, but it's not like, oh my god, I'm going to vomit. Now, if you have a sensitive nose and a sensitive stomach, yeah, this is going to kind of make it turn because it's basically fish that's been fermented inside a can for several months without any aeration whatsoever. So the moment you open this bad boy, poof, it's going to hit you in the face. So that's why if you're uh, smart about it, you put it in a plastic bag while you open it like I did. Another way they say to do it is to hold it under water and then pierce the can, let the air come out, and then you continue opening it outside of it. But I wanted to see how bad it smelled. All right. Yeah, it's like walking into a sewer. Sort of. But then again, I've smelled corpse. Don't ask. <laughs> Let's just say I had to remove a couch where someone died and they didn't find them until about two weeks later. So I've dealt with that smell before. And trust me, this doesn't even come close. All right. Now, like I said, this is most of the meat. I'm going to mix that in there a bit. All right. Now... See how this bad boy tastes. Get some of you up to the front here. Oh yeah, sour cream. What am I talking about? I said I was going to add and I forgot to use it. So we made it. <clears throat> you may already be a winner. Very salty taste. Like I said, it's not like anchovy. Kind of has a different taste than that. But yeah, it has a salty taste. The smell is not too overwhelming right now. You know, I got a can sitting in front of me. It's a unique taste. I'm gonna try some Jack. Well, folks, well, in my opinion, it's not that bad. It's an acquired taste, but not that bad. It smells not that overwhelming. I mean, I wouldn't make it an aerosol, but anywho. Going to finish eating this up, and traditionally, as it is, it's drank with beer. So, cheers, motherfuckers. Again, I thank you, thank you for tuning in to episode two of Random Things with Hags. This is a challenge, episode two. And thank you for watching. If you like what you see and want to see other future videos, like and subscribe my page. And we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.